Thank you. Thank you, boys. How's the new guy working out? What was that? I say, are you listening to me or not? Now, I we, go, I we went through this last couldn't night. Couldn't quite hear you. I'm, I'm only like 17 feet There's away. There's some kind of a vacuum in I between I said, us how's the new guy oh, working out? Oh, he's working out? out very well. And yeah. as you know, his eyes will be continually locked yes, I know. onto you. I know. I, and I certainly appreciate that. Okay. Unlock your eyes. Ah. Uh, our next guest is a very distinctive... A very distinctive songwriter and performer whose uh, new hit album is called Spike. Here's a copy of it right here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to this program the one, the only, Elvis Costello. Just a feline tormentor Not in her part of a wife The drunk town of Mandy it's a miserable life When it's full of that beer champagne She bats balls, bats balls and gars And if he should wake up In some terrible dive And he don't know his soul, soul But he's so surprised he's alive Come on, little honey, let me under your hide She bats balls, bats balls and gars she bats, bats around the bedroom, practicing ways to flirt. He pours, pours another drink and anything in a skirt. Anything wearing a necklace. He thinks of claws scratching his back. He's going out there, he's not coming back. Ow! She's got spider leg fingers. Shopping whenever he strays And he carries a bird purse With all of a woman that weighs While he's drinking their spray She knows that he never would dare He could be in pictures He wasn't all covered in fur and She's coming home now and here's the surprise You wouldn't believe the lies that he tries She got him down favorite size she pats paws pats paws and cars she pats paws pats paws and cars she pats and paws and cars oh yeah Pretty good. Thank you very much for coming back. I guess you were here, geez, a long time ago. Way back in the dawn of time. Yeah, five or six years ago. Uh, what What is the song about there, exactly? Pads, Paws and Claws? Yeah. It's about a feline tormentor. Mm -hmm. You know those cat women? That's, that's dedicated to my wife. Oh. Car 
<laughs> the ultimate feline tormentor. Uh -huh. how, how did that song come to you? How did it go from a, a thought to a song? Kind of in a dream. Uh -huh. kind of, like every, like, a bit like being in the show, you know, like a dream. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are, are you getting ready to travel all over the world with the new album? Uh, yeah, but, you know, I, I brought songs back with me from, uh, from all over the world. Mm -hmm. You know, I, some of the songs on this new album, Spike, were written in exotic locations, and some were recorded in fairly exotic locations. For example? Well, I wrote one song, God's Comic, in uh, Greenland. Mm -hmm. what, what is Greenland like? Who goes there? You were there working, I, or...? Uh, no, I wasn't there working. They haven't yet got any venues up there, but uh, <laughs> we're, we're working on that. Um, we were there on a holiday, you know, to go and see uh, the big blue icebergs and everything. Right. And, uh, is, it, is it physically beautiful, this country? Beautiful, be physically beautiful. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't have many people in it, and that's the big advantage, you know? Yeah. And uh, strange thoughts come to mind, you know? I, I, I wrote this song about... Um, you know the way when you were a child you were told that Santa Claus lived at the North Pole? Right. Well, when you go up there, it does get, put you in the mind that maybe, maybe God lives at the North Pole, mm -hmm. you know, and is hiding from us all. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I wrote, you know, I wrote a song about a, a comedian going up to heaven, dying and going up to heaven and dragging himself in, into heaven, a bit like this beautiful studio here. Heaven is <laughs> oh, like this. Oh, this yeah. is heaven, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he encounters the god that you find up at the North Pole, and, and uh, there he is. He's lying on a big blue waterbed full of tropical fish, you know. And, uh, <laughs> he's got one of those uh, video screen TVs, right. you know, those five screen TVs, yeah. like, like in nine and a half weeks, mm -hmm. you know. In fact, he's watching nine and a half weeks on one of them. <laughs> this is God now. This is God now. Uh -huh. God, <coughs> he, he likes to take in everything, you know. He likes to, <laughs> and he's got a, he's got a colorized version of It's a Wonderful Life on another screen. You know? <laughs> he prefers the colorized. version. He prefers version. the colorized one by far. You know? <laughs> he's got a, a new movie that I believe they're making now. It's the, it's the Donald Trump story, you know, <laughs> starring Dennis Hopper as Donald Trump. You know? <laughs> Jeez, that's. Yeah. that's I, I'm doing the music for that one. Yeah? <laughs> that's interesting casting. And he's got like CNN on, on the <laughs> usual stuff, you know. <laughs> And NBC, of course. Yeah. And, uh, and he's reading, like, uh, Jackie Collins' rock star with one eye, mm -hmm. you know, and Danielle Steele's star mm -hmm. with the other eye. And with his third eye, he's reading Lesson Zero by Brett Easton Ellis. You know, yeah. that's <laughs> and, uh, and he's listening to Andrew Lloyd Webber, because, you know, as, as you know, God can always get tickets for cats, you know? <laughs> and he loves Andrew Lloyd Webber, because he's so like Pacini, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> And he says, I don't know, you know, you've, this is all you've, 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 you've managed to achieve in all this time. You know, maybe I should have given the world to the monkeys, you know? <laughs> Davy and Mickey and Peter and Michael would have done a better job and gets out his guitar and plays the last train to Clarksville. And uh, all of this came to you in Greenland. All of that came to me in Greenland. Okay. We, we have to do a commercial. We'll be right back here with all the stuff. Come on. Elvis Costello. Here, uh, is there any, anything we ought to know about the cover of the new album? It uh, appears to be you in uh, clown makeup. Uh, what is that? It, like mounted on a... It's a picture of show business. You know, they, they get an elephant gun, they go out and shoot the new artist and hang him up on the boardroom uh -huh. wall. You know, <laughs> it's plain to see, isn't it? Uh, now, this year, uh, when you start the tour for this album, is it beginning soon? Are you in the middle I'm of it I'm doing a little secret tour. It's like a solo trip, mm -hmm. but... Uh, Rather than turning it into like a church uh, fair, you know, with just sitting there with acoustic guitar, uh, I, t I did a tour where I had a spinning songbook, like a game show wheel, and I've adapted the idea for the solo performance. No, no, people would come up and spin the spin wheel, the and wheel, then wherever yeah. it landed, you would do the song. I would do that song. Yeah. Now, the, on the new tour, this is true, what do you mean? Did you give away furniture or anything? Uh, no, like you recliners? Could, you, yeah, no, you could, you could go in a go-go cage and go-go dance, uh -huh. and, uh, or you could take a seat at the Society Lounge, which is not unlike this uh, beautiful desk you have here. <laughs> On, the, on this coming tour, I've got a six-foot satin heart, like a big Valentine card, mm -hmm. uh, which is mounted on spring, so it undulates seductively when you touch it. <laughs> and s instead, of, instead of song titles, we're going to have um, the 13 and a half Deadly Sins, the seven original Deadly Sins, uh -huh. and uh, six and a half new ones that we're <laughs> dreaming up. You know? And we want to encourage people from the audience. Now, sometimes, like in Los Angeles, you can't keep the people off the stage, you know? Here in, uh, sort of on the East Coast, people are a little bit kind of more mm -hmm. reserved. So originally I wanted to release a pack of wild dogs at the back of the theatre to ah, chase the people. Good idea. But you know, the health regulations, you have a problem from different <laughs> states. So it's come down to 
ushers in wolf suits. Uh -huh. So they're going to oh. bring... And well, that's a nice touch, yeah. 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 We get them up on the stage. Uh, we have a big turquoise velvet blindfold. Uh -huh. And, you know, when you go to the... I know you often stay in the presidential suite in the hotels as you travel. Wherever being I a go, being it's, a in, yeah. it's part of the rider. Yes. Uh, well, you know, you have those, those, you know, tasseled keys. Well, we're going to give them a tassel spike. And if you remember, you know, from the title of the record, and if you uh, remember Pin the Tail on the Donkey uh -huh. from, from childhood, yes. we'll have these blindfolded people stab this heart, uh -huh. <laughs> and whichever sin they pierce, mm -hmm. they have the opportunity then, a moral dilemma, they can either commit that sin live on stage, yeah. and we'll have some sinners over there. <laughs> um, we'll have some uh, paraphernalia to assist with the sinning. Or you can elect a song which you think best uh, represents that. So scene. this will be uh, very unique on this tour. I would think yeah. so. Yes, it hasn't been done before. It was tried in Las Vegas a few years ago, but they but they <laughs> took it off. They have regulations there. Do you ever so. think? Uh, do you ever think Elvis, you're spending too much time alone? <laughs> <laughs> too much time watching television. Though. Too much time watching television. Uh, and uh, th this all begins uh, soon. Uh, funnily enough, it begins on April the first. Yeah. You know, there might be something. There you about go. That, Ties you know? right in. Yeah, well, good to see you again. I'm glad you could come back. Uh, Low these many years. Yes, love and, and these have uh, great success with the album and the tour. Thank you, Elvis Costello. We'll be right back.